can hear you too. Thanks. All right, great. Thank you. Um, well, I'll go to hope. Okay, the hope I draw for what I would say. Um, my name is uh, Aaron Lotting from Acoma Pueblo, and I am a councilman uh, recently appointed for, in the last uh, in the last year. And uh, I think it's uh, I think my comments start off with um, you know some of these uh, very issues that I ran into just this morning and trying to log on. Um, this is a very difficult um, time you know, to navigate through in general. Um, constantly in trouble, government, the sky is falling for most days in the in in our worlds um and there is always some kind of fire to put out and so when and you had mentioned in your in your remarks in your opening remarks that we had to adapt well that um adaption is is, is very much in, in a, a privileged space even our children are we're having huge numbers of children that are having issues logging into a virtual classroom setting and so our children are disadvantaged and even that way are most vulnerable and so when we ask when you when the federal government asks for consent and consultation in these areas that are so important to us um, that we mention them in every almost every songs and every prayers that we have recording our oral history when we came from the northern from the north to the south and we stopped this Chaco is a Chaco area it's known as Washbashaka and Akma and Akma this is the place where the second place we stopped cultivated knowledge cultivated vast trade networks and built these houses these great structures these kivas that you see here today still and a lot of it is in the subservice and because it's been so long and so my biggest fee piece of feedback is that this is not a proper consultation this is not consent this is not consent from the tribes i am speaking as an individual councilman uh, um, but I also recognize the importance of this place and the in viability, unvi inviability of the of this platform. Um, again, I'm, uh, we we've run into multiple issues, internet lagging issues. Um, this the infrastructure is not there for our communities a lot of times, and so Akam was a fairly rural place, 50 miles west from any any city, and so any kind of urban structures, urban development areas, and so when you ask for a consultation, this is it's not. Not proper consultation, and so we, I would like to ask to delay this process and then have it in a proper way. Once, once the tribes are set up to do this in the proper way, and so I, I speak on my behalf, but I know I'm judging from our experience right now, as 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 we're in the middle of still in the middle of an emergency, a global pandemic, and as really just devastating so many indigenous communities, and so that's what is, that's the biggest piece of feedback i have uh, and and i really hope that you all hear me out because this is a this the space is is is, is powerful it's a it's a sacred place and it's not physically occupied but it's spiritually occupied when we give when we create these spaces and we create homes we give them a heart and many people disregard those kinds of statements because they don't the spirituality doesn't fit within the framework of of these of these systems that are in place and i really want to emphasize that part and those are the comments i have from now but and i'll i'll go and stop speaking for now Aaron, thank you so much for your comment and your question um, as to why we're continuing to do these meetings. I'm going to go 